today's tip, uh, it comes from the fact that earlier today I was um, uh, teaching somebody about how to, uh, you know, source, how to scan, how to use a scanner, how to make decisions when it comes to, to buying. And it just made me think, you know, when it comes to learning something new, whether you're learning a new category, whether you're learning a new aspect of your business, whether it's wholesale or grocery or health and beauty, when you're starting to learn something new, or even if you're at the very beginning of your Amazon FBA business, when you're learning something new, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to buy something that turns into a dud. It's okay to make a, a mistake what you want to do is learn from those mistakes as soon as possible. You want to be able to take what you did wrong, evaluate it, and learn from it, and move ahead. Mistakes are a part of growing. In fact, you know, I, I, it's those who make the most mistakes that probably end up succeeding because when they make the most mistakes, they're at least continuing to try. They're not giving up. They're pressing on, and they're taking their business further by being able to learn from their mistakes. I remember... Um, you know, the when when people were trying to invent the light bulb, you know, Thomas Edison, um, I think it was, he had a thousand different ways he was trying to make a light bulb and they all failed. And they're like, don't you just feel like a failure? And he's like, no, I just found a thousand ways that don't, that, that don't work and I'm not going to try anymore. It's all about that kind of perspective. And he was able to learn, you know, lessons from those and apply them to finally being able to create and invent the light bulb. And so when you're out there, when you're learning something new, you're not going to be able to remember everything that you learned. You're not going to remember everything that you read um, on a blog or in an ebook. But you just go out there and you do. And you be okay with mistakes, learn from them, and move on. If you're a perfectionist type and this is something that you struggle with, then I'm giving you permission to fail. It's, it's okay. It's a part of the process. Don't let failure get you down. Don't let failure slow you down. Don't let failure cause you to want to quit. Because this business is doable, you can do it, you can learn, keep pressing on, and I'm here to help. You can find out more information at fulltimefba.com. I've got tons of blog posts on all different types of topics that can help you. If you want free PDFs that will help your business be better, subscribe to the newsletter. You'll be able to learn some new things. But that's, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a little thumbs up below. That would be really cool. And if you have a comment or a question, you can do that below too. Any of the links that we talked about during this video, you can find that in the description below and it will take you right where you need to go. And if you want to be sure you don't miss out on any of the future videos, be sure you subscribe to this channel and you'll be able to get notifications when our new videos are posted so you don't miss out on any Amazon FBA information. And if you want to learn more about me and the website, come to fulltimefba.com. Where, as always, it's my goal to give you the strategies, the tools, and the confidence you need to turn part-time hours into a full-time income with Amazon. Well, that's all for today. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.